Hello Leo, welcome to your November 2019 reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Special welcome to my Apple Podcast and Spotify listeners. Let's get started here Leo. I want to start with a couple of romance oracles to see what's going on with you here for the month of November. 2019 for Leo, for the fire sign of Leo. What's going on for Leo, please? Messages for Leo regarding love and relationships for November. Okay, we'll take those two. We have engagement and trust. So the situation is calling for you to have faith that your love life is ascending to a higher level. It doesn't necessarily mean you're getting engaged, though for some of you that may be true. It's more about trusting that you're on the right path, Leo. Beautiful energy. Let's see. I've already meditated on the energy. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the magician. So you're really wanting to manifest love in your life, but love, love on a higher level. Love on a higher level of commitment. You're committed to, to bringing it about, I feel, uh, Leo. The energy around you is one of knowing what you want, not settling for less. And I feel that you're looking for a, a place to belong, a place where you feel a, a harmonious balance, a place to, to I feel that it's very much a, a card of moving. You may want to move to another place. You may want to move house. Let's see. Let's start the reading for Leo. What's going on for Leo for the month of November? We'll start with a card in the center that will signify your energy. What is challenging you right now? What is at the, the root of this? What's crowning this? What's just going into the past? What's coming towards you in the future? How you're viewing yourself? How others are viewing you or your external circumstances? Your hopes and fears and the outcome. Okay, Leo, let's get started. Right in the center as you, the Six of Wands. Beautiful. I mean, this is Leo all around, really. This is trusting in your ability to make something happen. It's a card of confidence, not settling. It's triumph, it's, it's victory. What's, what's challenging you? The Queen of Cups, so you want victory around this person. The feeling around this is one of emotion, an emotional connection. So again, I get that this is someone that's good for you. You feel a, a deep connection with, they do with you as well. So really, a success looks like it's, <laughs> I'm picking up very good energy around this. So this is, this is you being able to trust, have faith in the universe that this is something that's going to be good, is going to be successful for you, Leo. At the base of this, we have the King of Swords. As your energy, it's acting with integrity. It's making good decisions. This is a, a, a man of law. This is someone who thinks with his head more than, well, it, it's not really, it, this is, it's not to say that this man doesn't think with his heart. He just incorporates it with logic. And that's why I like the King of Swords as an energy, because it's not, it's not an out of control energy of just letting things, letting our emotions get away with us. No, it's tempered somewhat. Some people may view this as maybe a little bit cold or detached, but I feel like the right person will understand. We have a pair here. I feel like the right person will understand your nature, will get you. Leo, I think that you need a little bit of space I get independence around this. 
So when it comes to a relationship, it's not that you don't love or care, you do. It's just that you also like to keep that place for yourself. That detachment, a little bit detached, but I feel like this person would understand, I, I do. Understand your nature. What's crowning this is the chariot in reverse. So we have some blocked energy. You may not be able to accomplish this immediately. So blocked achievement, blocked victory. What's going into the past? Okay, the death card. So it tells me that what may have been blocking this in the past is holding on to an old relationship, holding on to things that are past their, their use by date. But I like it as past energy because it tells me that that's, you're moving on from that now. So whatever's been blocking the chariot, a fear of change, a fear of transformation, keeping yourself in a stagnant place, one you don't feel connected to anymore. I get that changing for you, Leo. So hopefully we can get that chariot back driving in the right direction because right now it seems to be stalled. It's like your vehicle, your vehicle of change, your vehicle of movement is stalled. In the near future, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So I like that for you. Coupled with that King of Swords energy, it tells me that you're willing to put in the hard yards. You're willing to put in the work because it's going to take some effort. This is a card of there's no bones about it. It's going to take work to get you to this place. I feel like it's working on ending something, Leo. Ending something so you can move on to something else. With this Queen of Cups energy, someone who you feel more emotionally connected to. How are you viewing yourself? Beautiful. The Ace of Pentacles. So very grounded energy. So you're approaching this in a very grounded way. That's fantastic. You know, you want to build something strong with this person. So this is not a this is not a quick fix. This is not an escapism or illusion. This is real. I get that you're very grounded and you're approaching this as a very real opportunity. Wow, Leo, that's fantastic. You know, I'm loving this energy around you. It's just we have to get that chariot in the upright. How others are viewing you, we have the Ten of Wands, so they may see you as a little bit overburdened right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you've got work, you've got your career, and you're also working on your own personal stuff here. Going through this transformation, it's been slow, but I get that the pace is kind of rapidly intensifying around that. So it's like you're, you're almost at this finish line of this personal transformation. It's a 10, so it tells me you're, you're completing this cycle out and you'll be soon ready to take advantage of this new opportunity around you. And your hopes and fears, we have the five of wands in reverse. You know, you don't want to give up. And you don't want your energy to give out before you reach that finishing line. So you're fearing you're still at a five, but other people are seeing you as a, a ten. So I think you're doubting yourself more than other people are doubting you. They see you as more, more than capable of getting through this, getting out the other side of it. this change. And this change is major. It is a major arcana here. So uh, this is the only one we have apart from the chariot. And it tells me you're almost at the end of this major life change. It's like you've chosen a completely, completely different path. It's something very, very new very new but it's it's grounded in reality 
so you can trust you can have faith that this is real that this isn't something that is going to go poof and disappear that this ace will just fly off no it, it's around for the long haul so while you're putting in the effort it'll still be here this ace yeah that's what i'm feeling around this so you don't you you fear that you're giving up that that you may you may give out you, you may not have any fight left but it tells me that you need to keep going this is just a fear this is something in the back of your mind self-doubt really the outcome for you is the four of pentacles in reverse so for you there's a sense of being more open uh, releasing releasing the past releasing any toxic energy and i also want to get one more card on that four of pentacles in reverse as the outcome for leo why is the four of pentacles in reverse the outcome for leo okay we've got the king of wands okay well that's you obviously i've got you as a male here but of course you can be a female energy with kings it's all about action standing up taking action being very direct knowing what you want working within your elements so there's passion here there's fire there's will determination so you really i get a, a little sense of being perhaps feeling a little bit out of control because it's because it's intensifying I, I get an intensifying of this power of this energy around you this fire is building up it's like a volcano and soon this volcanic energy is going to be released so it's you're almost ready it's like you're almost ready to pop here that's the that's the feeling i'm getting around this now of course with that energy it, it can be a little bit destructive so you want to be a little bit careful that you don't use up too much energy in any kind of uh, petty squabbles, opposition. Uh, I'm not picking up major opposition here. It's, it's more about just petty squabbles, things that people are saying, uh, getting involved in kind of little little arguments or fights no none of that it's staying out of that not expending energy on things that you don't need to expend energy on because i feel like you've already got enough to do here you're trying to work out details and for you the main thing to remember is not to become reckless not to feel out of control you want to maintain control during this time where there's great change and a release possibly of something that previously you've held on to for a long time or that was of value to you for a long time so while you're going through this change you need to be careful about maintaining your strength maintaining your character not being seen as someone who's out of control you know maintaining that integrity maintaining that strength of character and then i see you being able to to tackle any challenge you know don't waste energy on the things that don't matter on the on pettiness and stay out of, of arguments stay out of uh, uh, squabbles any any kind of toxic energy let's see what the angel cards have to say so in when it comes to your love life here leo it tells me that you're on the right path you're almost at the end there's probably probably this month and, and going towards the end of the year maybe the first couple of months of the year you'll be in this process of disengaging and and changing this your pathway into and into something brand new but right now you need to put all your focus and energy on putting in kind of the hard yards the things that's not so exciting you know getting your all your ducks in a row um, getting everything organized but 
I feel like you're going to be able to do this as long as you maintain trust in the universe, have faith that you, you'll be able to get through this and that you're, you're actually, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So success is assured, I feel, as long as you don't get caught up in, in pettiness or become, become overwrought or overwhelmed in any way by the situation you know take it one day at a time one step at a time keep up the focus on and the dedication on the work that's involved here and then you'll be able to get to the play after it so work time first and then play leo hard for leo to do yeah you want the play right now but it, it, it's not available right now you can't do it right now you have to go through this before you get to that but it's coming it's coming it really is all right leo let's take a look wow all right wait yeah and improving health well that's good too so i feel like you you, you may be feeling like your your health is a bit down at the moment you may feel a little bit overwhelmed you, you might feel like you it's just too much of a burden but I get over the next few months, just keep your head down, keep pushing through this. And when you get to the other side, you start to feel better about yourself. After this waiting period, then you can take action towards this new opportunity that you have around you. And you can get that chariot, your chariot, which I think is your body actually, with this improving health here leo this may be your body itself needs care needs attention so getting that in tune before you go and do this this other thing and trust that it's going to work out fine the opportunity isn't going anywhere so you can afford to wait until you get your health back okay leo let's get one more card for you from sacred traveler Remember, this is for sun, moon, rising, Venus signs as well. It can be, the energy could be someone around you as well, Leo, if this one isn't resonating with you. Let's get one more card for Leo. What does Leo need to hear? What does Leo need to hear? Message for Leo. Okay, it's way too many, but I'm going to take those two. We've got cleansing waters, purification activates vibrant life force. So this is a cleansing, removing the, the, the old, the toxic energy, getting that out of the way, um, getting your body healthy. So it might be detox, whatever that means to you, getting your body healthy and then stepping into your power, feeling strong again. That's what you want. You want to feel strong again, and then you'll be able to be in a better better position to to take advantage of this ace of pentacles uh leo so giving yourself some time to step into your power again get your power back yeah cleansing waters it, it really is about releasing all kinds of toxic energy clearing it clearing it out whatever that means to you you know it, it may just mean that you need to drink a lot more water that's on a lower level some of you it, it's actual detox and, and the need for a healthy regime to get back into into a, a health regime all right Leo wow uh, if you would like a personal reading you can email me my email address is gypsyinsights at gmail.com I wish you the best with this Leo I really do if you're interested, I have the uh, the love readings up right now for November. I've got the link in the box below. So if you're interested in checking out the in-depth love readings, please go there as well. It may have more information about this situation. <clears throat> Wishing you the best with this, Leo. Please take care. Take care of yourself. You know, get that, that health back. 
Now wait till you start feeling better about yourself and then you can tackle this new challenge full on. But until then, keep your head down and uh, keep pushing through. Bye for now, Leo.